Hi guys, for this week's ROM of the week for the Galaxy Note 2, um, definitely check out the l latest uh, version of Resurrection Remix ROM. Uh, this is running the latest Android 6.0.1. I've got it running on my GTN 7100, uh, but this is available for the AT&T, T-Mobile, and also the International um, N7100, also the uh, GTN 7105. All right, um, it is a very solid ROM. I've been actually waiting for a solid Marshmallow ROM, and I would say this is the right time to install if you want to go to Marshmallow. Um, definitely point on, everything works out of the box. Uh, your data, Bluetooth, everything. Um, you got some options like screencast, screen, uh, sound recording. Uh, screencast, you can go ahead and record your sound kernel auditor. Uh, it doesn't have overclocking, but uh, it does. You can underclock it to save more battery life. Audio effects, uh, basically built off CM13, but gives you a ton more options as before. And let me give you some of the options that you can do. Um, you'll find all of that in configuration under, under personalization, uh, status bar, clock customizations, battery bar. Um, all of this you can actually. Um, work with double tap to sleep all right and let me go ahead and show you all the other stuff here buttons you can go ahead and enable um, navigation bar buttons so you get a uh, soft keys down there maybe your hardware keys are broken you also customize the buttons all right you can also double tap up nope. yeah nope maybe you can't all right here we go and also as for performance let me show you real quick I got 30,405. That's, uh, I think we're getting about 29,000 on Lollipop. So slight performance improvements. And uh, if you're still running TouchWiz, I mean, why are you running TouchWiz? Um, and even Lollipop will make your phone faster, AOSP. This will really revamp your phone. And I couldn't believe how fast you know, everything runs on this phone. Um, also, you got notification drawer. Also, you've got a uh, lock screen here, a uh, lock screen UI. You can even customize uh, at stuff like uh, lock screen blur if you want. And that will sort of blur out uh, the background there. Gives it nice effect. Also gives you some privacy. Um, shortcuts, bottom shortcuts, quick shortcuts. I mean, there's a ton of stuff you can do. I'm not going to go over all of them. Um, so over CM13, you get all of these extra options. And the ROM itself is pretty solid. All right, let me also give you a quick look at the camera. Camera is very also solid. Uh, remember when we first had Lollipop ROMs or you know, back in the day when we had the Jelly Bean. Uh, every time you upgrade it, the camera sort of messed up. But the camera is super solid. All right, you can take photos while doing it. Uh, also, you get a bunch of different new effects. All right, you can get the solarize effect, which is kind of cool. And also the front camera works flawless. Let me go ahead and show you that real quick. And I'm using my GH4. Uh, also, you can go ahead and download Google Camera if you want to get uh, Photosphere and all that good stuff. Now, with this camera, you also get uh, some extra options. Like, you can go ahead and change the storage option to... SD card easily, ISO, face detection, all that good stuff. Also, if you use a micro SD card, you can convert it now into internal storage because it's now Marshmallow. So if you have a 32 gigabyte Note 2, I'm just going to go ahead and grab, you know, a 128 gigabyte, and that will give you like what 160 gigabyte phone <laughs> internal storage uh, without moving anything to SD. But very solid ROM. I highly recommend it. Very good battery life. Uh, overall, very good ROM. Again, it is available for international GTN 7100, GTN 7105, AT&T and T-Mobile. Now, GTN, GTN 7105 and AT&T and T-Mobile all use the same files. All right. Installation is straightforward. Marshmallow is slightly different. Um, you actually have to install the ROM, install those JApps, and then do a factory, and then do a reboot. I'll have a full guide on that, um, so check that out if you haven't installed any uh, Marshmallow ROMs on your Note 2. Um, definitely check out that tutorial before you do it. Uh, use Titanium Backup App to back up your apps. 
also you can go ahead and back up your current ROM uh, using Tor Recovery. That way, if something goes wrong, you can go ahead and restore, uh, make a backup of everything always, you know, before you switch ROMs. Uh, but overall, very solid ROM. This really changes things because it really turns your phone uh, into a, like a newer phone with the software. I mean, the beauty of rooting, all oh, people ask me all the time, but this is why you can turn an old phone like this and make it just as fast as some of the newer budget phones. I mean, you can't make it fast as uh, some of the newer Note phones, but I mean, you can make it still run like pretty darn fast. Um, you know, if you're still on stock, like stock, was it? Last time it was updated with Jelly Bean. If you install the Marshmallow, your performance is pretty much double. Everything's faster, no lag. Um, camera works great. I mean, this is still a great phone, so definitely check it out for this week's ROM week. For Sprint and Verizon, we'll have to wait a little bit because uh, a lot of people have left, a lot of developers. So that's probably why we don't have Marshmallow yet. I would just stick with the Lollipop ROMs. They're still actually really solid and makes your phone uh, pretty fast. The biggest performance we saw was uh, from, I think, Jelly Bean to, uh, what is it, Lollipop. Was there something before? Um, so definitely check it out. Oh, sorry, Kit Kat to uh, Lollipop. That was a big. We we saw like thirty for forty percent improvement in performance across many devices, including this one. So definitely check it out. Um, check out the links for downloads here for all the different files. Uh, instruction will be on my site. Check out the description. Um, don't forget to do, donate to the developers of these ROMs. I'll have links to uh, donate links to all the developers. Um, for these ROMs. And as always, I stay on Android.